In this video, Campanotus nicobarensis, what is this species all about and how is my colony doing? Right after the intro. Hello and welcome to another Ants Vienna video. Sorry to leave you without a video for so long, but my 9 to 5 job and a couple of side projects required a lot of my attention and energy in the past few weeks. In return, I have something big for you, my viewers and subscribers in the works. I am not going to spoil you yet, but I promise you are going to like it. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Campanotus nicobarensis. Campanotus nicobarensis are a very popular Asian ant species, and there are multiple reasons for this. They usually nest in already existing hollow spaces like tree huts, stones, etc. and a single queen can raise a colony of a couple hundred individuals within the first year. They don't quite like digging though, so you probably won't ever come across any of them living in an earth nest. Being a Campanotto species means that they are also polymorphic, with minors starting at 6 and majors reaching 12 mm long. Queens usually have a size of about 15 mm and an eye-catching dual-color pattern with black and yellow to dark orange stripes depending on their origin. While not being the biggest Campanotto species, they make up for it by being very active and having very fast development from egg to walk, taking no winter break. So they are a species that feels very rewarding and exciting to keep because you can not only feel but also see them growing. Thanks to their fast development and relative size, which lets you notice things like trophallaxis a lot easier. Talking about growth, my purchased colony that you saw in the unboxing doesn't seem to be in a mood of growing. It took the queens a whopping seven weeks in my care to lay their first eggs. Initially, I kept them in room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. After seeing that there was nearly no activity for the first three weeks, I decided to purchase a heating mat. And let me tell you, they are doing a lot better since then. While being kept dry at 27 degrees Celsius, the colony now consists of two queens, 12 walkers, two larvae and three eggs. I'm really curious to see how they'll increase their numbers from now on. That marks the end of today's video. I hope I managed to wake your interest in this beautiful species called Campanotus nicobarensis. Please leave me a like if you liked the video, it really helps me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss the big announcement coming soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys!